And here we have Honey Locust Farms, which is where I'm advertising my work and uh, displaying it uh, for this May 24th, 2010 long weekend and the following weekend, May 29th and May 30th. Absolutely beautiful location and a great display area for my work. Very happy to be here. Here's the entrance way to uh, Honey Locust Farm Studio and a display of some of my work outside. Absolutely perfect day for displaying some of the work. And some of my new pieces. The one on the far right here, which is the yellow one, is called Sunshine. And I think all of you can see why it's called Sunshine. Very, very glorious day. And here, just inside the front door, we have all of my frames and everything set up for sale. And then, for the first time ever, I've had enough room to hang all of my stuff. Absolutely amazing. Very, very pleased. And here we have the card table with all of my newest cards and everything up for display and some of my newer pieces and some of my older pieces. Top left we have Lavender Reverence number two. Below that we have Purple Vein which was the first prize winner in this year's Ottawa Orchid Show and below that we have Chiffon Stripe. Next to that, up top, we have Pink Beauty, which was the international grand prize winner in the Puerto Vallarta Botanical Gardens Photography Contest in February 2010. Below that, we have the Monet Tulip, which is one of my original pieces. It's featured on my website. Butterflies, below that. Top right-hand side, we have something that I've been calling Bad Hair Day, which is a lovely fritillaria. White Tulip won honorable mention at the Ottawa Orchid Show again in May of this year. And below that we have a picture of crocuses from my front yard from about a year or two ago. Continuing the art pan, we have on the far left the top, we have Amethyst Wings, which is a orchid, an orchid that I grew in my living room. Then below that, we have Evening Flocks, which is taken in Penn Yang, in New York. And below that, we have White Petals, which is a beautiful begonia. Beside the orchid at the top, we have Pink Ruffles, which is a hibiscus flower taken in uh, the conservatory in Columbus, Ohio. Below that, Pink Ruffles. Uh, double pink hibiscus uh, from Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. And below that, oh, another pink one. How about that? This is uh, called Bodacious Bell, and it's a pink uh, uh, malva plant. Coming up above that, we have the beautiful African Summer, which is a Gallardia taken out of my backyard. And to the right of it is a uh, piece that was, uh, it's a Japanese uh, tree peony and it again is from my backyard too. Below that we have the Siberian uh, iris called Siberian tiger and to the right is the stargazer lily. And below that once again is the Monet tulip, another uh, feature. Purple sunrise above that is from the Puerto Vallarta Botanical Gardens. The crocuses are from my backyard about five weeks ago and below that we have a lovely amaryllis that's tinged in a, a red around the outside of the petals and that is from Allen Gardens in Toronto. Finishing off, last but not least, up above is Dancing Quartet. Then we have uh, the Rose of Sharon, this one's called Midnight New Luminosity. 
I want to thank all of you for being here today and taking part in my show. And I hope that you guys can make it down. We're also open next weekend, the 29th and 30th. And uh, it's part of the Up the Garden Path Thousand Islands Arts Group. Welcome, and please come on down.